Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's video, we are revisiting the Piston House. That's right guys, we are back. Uh, so if you guys are just new to this series, you should definitely check out the previous videos that involve this really cool piston pool, a garage, there's all sorts of really cool things. Uh, so today though, I am making some progress on this build. So we're going to be checking out the inside. I've got the kitchen and the dining area as well as a bit of a living room set up. Uh, so there is still quite a bit to go in this build, but it's been a lot of fun so far and I'm really excited to show you what I got. So let's get into it. Alright, so like I said, I'm just hanging out here at the piston pool. Now I am going to mention that the pistons are starting to bug out a little bit. You can see the pool cover is now off of it. My little barbecue area was totally blown out of the fence. It's been a little bit of a journey, uh, but I'm still managing. So here we are inside where all of this is going to be happening. This is the kitchen and dining and a little bit of a living room area. Uh, and I'm really happy with it. So as you can see, there are a bunch of switches. Now I'm going to be showing you how this all works on the uh, inside uh, right after we kind of check it all out here. So let's kind of just go around here. You can see there are a few little lines on the floor uh, which is not a big deal but you can see there are a couple areas uh, quite a few switches too uh, so let's start pressing them shall we I'm gonna start with this one right here where is it and there it is all right so as you can see we have our fridge and dual sink here this is using a really nice kitchen mod pack uh, which really ties this build together. Uh, so over here though, we also have another little switch that we can press, which is a little hidden pop-up kind of corner plant there. And, you know, this is kind of funny actually. So sometimes, you know, you don't want to have to use an oven or anything. You want to zap your food. So, of course guys, I did add a microwave that pops in from the wall. Uh, which is pretty neat actually. So you can see, we'll press that one more time. You can actually see outside a little bit there because there was only so much room. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. You can see it just slides right out onto the counter there. And we can press some more switches. So this is the next one here. You can see I kind of just lined the main switches up on the top of the ceiling there. So you can press it and get a good view of it. So there we have the center island with a dual stove and dual oven kind of area, which is pretty sweet. I even threw a couple little plants on top of there. Uh, so we can press that one more time and get a little bit of a view. So you can see the basement is filled with pistons. We're going to be heading there very soon. All right, so the island, we'll get that up one more time. I guess I kind of dropped it down there. All right, here it goes. Perfect. So this is the last one right here on the main top. And so you can see this is actually just a little bar section here. So you can actually sit down inside of the kitchen and enjoy the view of the beautiful pool outside. All right, so let's hop out of there. So those are the main switches. We also have another one right here. So we'll press this one. And there you go, that is actually a slide out TV. So this one was kind of interesting actually. Uh, and it was a little bit of trickery to get this to work because as you can see there is a piece of concrete here and a piece of concrete here which actually adds a nice kind of layer to this little section but when you press it you can see the back wall doesn't actually move with it so I had to put this on a wall and then build it on the sides and then get rid of the back wall and it actually works out really well and you can see when it goes in it actually just goes seamless right there so it's basically a hidden TV and it's funny actually because you can press the TV and there's a cooking show so obviously here we go we're in our fancy piston mansion we're getting our little evening supper ready you can even hear there is music coming out of the TV Ah, soft cooking jazz. It's perfect for this amazing kitchen. So of course though guys, once you are done making all of your food, you need somewhere to sit. So you can press this one right here and there is another section here which is the entire dining area. Uh, so we have a bunch of chairs here that you can actually sit in and eat your meals I suppose. Uh, so that is a pretty simple one. I decided to put them all on one because I'll be honest, the pistons are freaking out. I'm really scared that this build might explode before I can finish it, so hopefully that's not the case, but all I can really do is keep building until it fails. 
Uh, so this is the little dining area though. You can see I kind of zigzag the lights up there a little bit and all of these lights are actually controlled by the switches as well. So if your uh, little piston section isn't activated, then the lights are off. All right, so that is pretty much the complete kitchen right there. Actually, you can see it is really nice. It has a wonderful view. There's also a little bit of a loft area up there that I'm maybe going to add something to later on in another video. Uh, but I'm really happy with this kitchen. Uh, so I did add one more little section right here, and this is one of those hidden wall ones. So this is pretty cool, actually. Let's press the switch here. The lights turn on, and here we go. Ah, perfect. We now have our little living room area, so we can actually sit down here like this and chill out in the giant mansion. Uh, there's a really nice painting here as well. It looks like an oil painting, actually, and this is just part of the furniture mod pack. Uh, so really cool stuff here, guys. I'm really enjoying the piston house, and I have a lot of ideas for the future. Uh, so let's head down to the basement where we can actually see what all of those pistons look like. So uh, this was originally going to be a basement filled with stuff, but I have an idea actually. I have a really, really good idea, uh, and that is going to be presented in the next video. Uh, so here you can see though, this is where all of the pistons are, and I've tried to keep it as simple as I can with as few pistons as possible. So you can see... For example, this one here, the wall that comes down for the living room is just one simple piston that slides down and of course it is hooked up to a controller here. So you can see that this one right here is the first one which is the wall. So the wall will come down and then this one right here is the extension of the entire living room and then this one right here is to pop it all out. Uh, so really cool stuff. Uh, you can see over here, this is basically the same kind of setup. And you know what, actually, I'm going to show you guys really quickly uh, what the whole little piston setup is and how easy it is to do it. All right, so I'm just hopping out of the piston mansion real quick here so we can actually check out this little mock-up here. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what I do to get those really nifty looking piston things going. So the simplest way to do it is grab something that you want to put on a piston. So in this case here, guys, we are using the shark from Raft because I guess Axolot Games has purchased the publishing rights to this Raft game, which is kind of interesting, actually. So uh, it's pretty exciting to hear that they are taking on some more stuff. Uh, but that is what we are going to be using in this video here. So the first thing I do is actually cut out this shape. So this is a pretty important step here. You want to know exactly what size you are going to be working with when you add your pistons. So I'd say it's right about there. Uh, so of course the first thing that you do want to do is add that part that you cut out. You want to put that back in again so that way you have the perfect size uh, for what you're trying to do. Now this can be applied to any shape as well. If you had different shapes and stuff like that you could alter what you're doing. Uh, so we're going to get rid of this right here and get rid of that and put it on the side. And we're going to put a piston just down on the road here, I suppose. And this is going to be used for the shark. So what I like to do is just kind of quickly hop underneath here and get all of the sizes down like this. And that should be it right about there. So now we have our section here that the shark is going to go on. So we might as well actually just pop a shark right about there, which is perfect. And so the next step that we have is adding the piston that will retract itself from right here. So I'm not too sure if we have enough room. So just to be safe, I'm going to add a little bit more rooftop here. And we are going to drop down a little section like this, which is three long and put a piston right here. So this is going to be the main piston that is used to cover the entire thing. So all we need now is a controller and connect them together here. So now let's extend this out to where we think it might need to be. Uh, so that's probably a good spot there, but actually, you know what? Let's bring it back. We're gonna put it right onto the left edge right there. So now we can easily just kind of hop up in here and add our cover. So the cover is pretty simple. You just match it to the size of the rest of it there and you add the last two pistons. So now we have one, two, and three. So one is of course set to the default seven here. So the next thing we need to do is set the default for the second one. So we just add a one here and now we have a level platform. So all we need to do now is one simple thing, which is actually remove the one here and get rid of that. So that way that'll actually drop the platform down and then pull it away. And then once you are done with that, you come down here and you add in 
your items. So I guess I'm not too sure. I don't think 10 is actually going to be necessary. Maybe we'll start with uh, 7 here and we'll see what happens. So all we need now is a switch, which we can grab like so and pop it right there. So hook that up and press the button and here we go there goes the cover and there is the shark so as you can see it is one a little too long so we can drop it down there and that is pretty much it guys that is the finished product of the piston thing so I'm sure there are probably ways you could definitely make it a little more compact but I find I'm trying to work as quick as I can here so in this case it definitely gets the job done and it looks really cool and you know what what happens if we hook that up? Oh, and that is what happens when we hook that up. We get an action. That's a, actually a pretty scary shark, isn't it? All right, guys. So there you have it. That is the new addition to the Piston House slash Piston Mansion. It's a really nifty looking kitchen and dining area. New living room as well. And I hope uh, me showing you guys exactly what I'm doing in this build maybe will help you and inspire you to make your own piston houses in Scrap Mechanic. So, of course, guys, if you did enjoy the build or if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to hit that like button. It'll let me know you're ready for more Endless Scrap Mechanic. And, of course, if you haven't already subscribed for Endless Scrap Mechanic, then maybe do that too and turn on notifications and you can get the latest and the craziest scrap mechanic stuff coming from me so thank you everybody for tuning in to endless scrap mechanic and i will be seeing you the next one so bye for now